Hi, this is Michelle Sam from Sammy Wong's Kitchen. Today, I am going to be showing you how to make amazing spaghetti squash. Sounds simple, but here are a few tricks to make this simple squash absolutely amazing. So let's get started. A few things you should know. It's important to know the makeup of the, a spaghetti squash because this will help you understand how to cook it. The spaghetti squash has a very thick outer layer and inside the fibers of the spaghetti squash run around this way. They don't run this way. So cutting the spaghetti squash is important if you want to have those nice long strands like spaghetti. Unlike the little sticker that gets stuck onto every single squash, it says here that you need to cut along lengthwise. Totally wrong. Because in there, what you end up with is just these short little strands of spaghetti. So what I'm gonna show you is how to make this amazing spaghetti squash. That's really simple. Depending on whether you are pressed for time or whether you are using an oven to bake something else, this will really determine whether you're going to microwave your squash or put it in the oven. To get started, this particular skin is really, really tough and cutting through it could be a real chore. So what you need to do is a little trick. First, go ahead and just poke some holes into the skin. Some people have said that, you know, if you don't, it explodes. So I just err on the side of caution. So I'm going to microwave it for three minutes and this will soften up the skin so that it's a lot easier to cut. Let me put it in the microwave and let's see what happens. The skin feels a little softer. And so what I'm going to do is now take my Chinese cleaver and chop it down the middle, which is like through the equator of the spaghetti squash. So what you'll see here is that it's got a lot of seeds, but if you look carefully enough, the fibers run on the horizontal rather than the vertical. Um, and then this just allows you to have longer strands of spaghetti squash. So the key to having your spaghetti squash look like spaghetti is you don't overcook it because then it just kind of turns mushy and you cut it this way. So remove the seeds from the cavity. For this half of the spaghetti squash, I'm going to microwave it. it takes a lot less time uh, than baking it. But if you are going to be baking something like the chicken mashala or any other kind of baked item which takes about 45 minutes put this in while you're preheating the oven um, and by the time your dish is ready you also have your spaghetti squash so in order to make this tasty this is where you add your flavorings and what i like to do is add a tablespoon of butter into each one here and that's actually going to melt uh, as it heats up and cooks, and a teaspoon of mushroom seasoning. And I'm just going to sprinkle it around the cavity. So for the one that I'm going to microwave, I'm going to put a plate over it and put it in the microwave for seven minutes. And this is just a half, but you're going to have to keep testing to see whether it's done or not. And then the other one, I'm going to... Uh, Take some foil and just cover the top like this. I'm not going to flip it over because I already have something in the cavity, but I'm just going to put some foil over the top to seal it in and steam it. So for the oven spaghetti squash, preheat the oven with the spaghetti squash in and then cook it for another 40, 45 minutes. Now I just took the squash out of the microwave and as you can see, I put a plate over it. I don't use saran wrap because if you heat saran wrap up, some of the 
chemicals that make up the plastic go into the food and probably not very good for your body. So put a plate on or something that is microwave proof. You can tell whether the squash is cooked because it is somewhat soft and I like it to be still firm so that you can have the integrity of the pasta. Use a fork, just scoop it into the butter and to the um, mushroom bouillon. You can see that the spaghetti squash strands are running along the equator, right? So what you end up with are these longer strands of spaghetti squash like this, which pretty much look more like spaghetti. The squash pits here. Now, you can throw them away, but you can also repurpose these squash pits. I have a recipe for savory umami pumpkin seeds, and of course, the umami comes from the mushroom seasoning. So. Don't waste your seeds, sprinkle some umami seasoning on it. And if you wanted to, you could actually just bake the seeds with the spaghetti squash. So happy cooking and thanks for watching. More recipes can be found on sammywongskitchen.com or social media. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.